History of Sign from Hipparchus to Today. Have you ever looked at the sky and wondered how far away are those stars, or how big is the Earth? This was a big deal in the ancient world. There's a belief that the pyramids were built to align with the stars, and in biblical times, wise men looked for signs from the stars to guide them. The discovery of the trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, were instrumental in helping learn about the world around us. The trig functions as we use them today were developed during the medieval period. However, trigonometry was known about in ancient Greece by Hipparchus of Nicaea and Ptolemy of Roman Egypt. Some histories show that the idea for sine came from using a bow and arrow and measuring the length of the bowstring. The word sine, however, comes from a Sanskrit word for cord, jiva or jaya. The Sanskrit word was translated literally into Arabic as jibba, J-I-B-A, and abbreviated as jib. Arabic is written without short vowels, so jib was interpreted as jabe, which means bosom. Then, when the Arabic was translated into Latin by Gerard of Cremona, he used the Latin equivalent for bosom, which is sinus, which can mean bosom, or bay, or fold. He was probably not the first scholar to use the translation. Robert of Chester seems to have used it before him, and there's some evidence of the word being used even earlier. The English form sine, S-I-N-E, was first used in the 1590s. It's interesting to note that a student of Copernicus, George Joachim Redicus, is credited with being the first person in Europe to talk about trig functions in terms of right triangles instead of circles. Before the widespread use of calculators, creating tables for the values of trig functions was a major pursuit. It is possible that the concept of trigonometry could not be discovered today. Use of bow and arrows by scholars who also served as soldiers probably led to the discovery of trigonometry because of the bow and arrow's similarity to part of a circle. Since the ancient Greeks used circles to talk about tri trigonometry instead of triangles, this makes sense. Today, soldiers use weapons that fire in a straight line. Don't forget that the ancient Greeks thought of mathematics in terms of logic instead of just experience, like the Egyptians and Babylonians before them. Without mathematicians like Hipparchus, there would be no flight, cars, medicine, and many other things that the study of trigonometry has advanced. So we thank you, Hipparchus and Ptolemy and al Khwarizmi and Gerard and Robert and Copernicus and Redicus, for giving us a way to learn about the world around us.